from Rainbow Nutrients R&D. And today I'm gonna to be bringing it back to that hop garden that I've been playing around with for the last couple months. Now there's no more movie magic, we're all caught up and up to date, and we've just kicked into flower. So what that means is I'm gonna be switching over to the Rainbow Nutrients flower cycle so that we can maximize the size of those hop cones and get some really good beer in the end. Anyway, I'll take you to my garden, I'll show you how we're doing. Okay, we're in the third month of our hop trial here, and uh, we've got two of the f uh, four hop plants that have uh, already kicked into flower. So the Centennial and the Golding have already kicked in, and I'm just waiting for the Cascade and the uh, Columbus to uh, kick over as well, but I can see some signs that they're about to start flowering. Uh, so if we zoom in, this is what you're going to get, and it's the same as any Cannabis A plant. So they kick into flower as soon as the sun cycle goes from tw uh, goes uh, past 12 and 12, and so uh, it's kind of like uh, with cannabis as well. So um, this is the indicator where I know things are starting to flower. I'm going to want to boost up this uh, uh, flower production uh, using Ramo's uh, flower formula. So we're going to be using the uh, Bloom and the Astro Flower now to try and uh, get a PK boost into these flowers and get them nice and big. So as you can see here, the Golding hasn't quite come along as much as the Centennial, so we've got these tiny little guys on here, but they'll, they'll start to develop out. But the Centennial has been my champ. That thing's just exploded with growth, and so I'm going to be really happy at the end when I get all that uh, hot flower to harvest. So just before I mix up my nutrients, I'm going to put something in perspective here, and we've been talking about it as a Ramo team. So uh, recently there was a water restriction for uh, watering your lawn, and I just wanted to put it in perspective. So this is a 40 gallon barrel, and it takes me about 10 minutes at full steam on the, uh, the hose to fill this thing up. Now if you put it in perspective, if I were to dump this whole barrel all over the lawn, it would flood the whole surface of the lawn, and um, it would seem like a lot of water but if you really think about it this is 10 minutes of filling up and uh, if somebody has their sprinkler on full whack uh, you're going to be using a lot of water and consider how much water you actually need to uh, either water your garden or your uh, your lawn and uh, maybe look at doing uh, one of these systems because it uh, helps you conserve water and um, you know exactly how much you're using you're not wasting any so uh, just a thought guys okay we'll do our mix Okay, we're going to do our nutrient mix, and as I said before, I'm switching over to the Ramo flower cycle uh, uh, food regimen. So we're looking at uh, adding the Astro flower and the Bloom product, and then we're going to be phasing out the Magnificale. And I'll explain why we use each of these products, just so you get a little bit of clarification. So we'll start off, as always, with our micro. You want to do this to avoid separation. And I'm going to use about 200 milliliters for the 38 gallons that I've got. Okay, this is your micronutrients. <clears throat> Next, because we're in the bloom cycle, we're going to use Ramo's Bloom. And this is to add a PK boost plus plant food, food to your uh, flowering products. So I'm gonna use about 200 mils per 38 gallons on this one. That's just an approximation. Okay. And next, my favorite product, Velo Kelp. So this is multiple kelp varieties, B vitamins, humic, and fulvic acid. So we're gonna add that. The stuff is absolutely great. It just kicks up that nutrient uptake rate. Love this stuff. Okay, next is nature's candy. So this stuff helps with flavor profile and adding a little bit of uh, funk to that essential oil content. You want to get nice and bitter hot flour, so make those flavor profiles really interesting. Okay, and the next product we're going to be using is Magnificale. Now this product is generally for uh, re um, uh, balancing the pH of your uh, grow medium as well as adding a nitrogen boost. Now during your flower cycle you're going to want to slowly phase this out. So I'm going to start out with just a little bit and this is just to add a little bit of nitrogen to the feed. 
but over the next couple weeks, I'm going to phase it completely out. <clears throat> okay, last, and, last but not least, uh, we got our PK Booster Astro Flower. So this is just to boost up potassium and phosphorus levels and get those flowers growing real big. And that's the flower formula right there in a nutshell, guys. So I'm gonna turn on my spout and I'm gonna feed half of this tank to half of the, uh, the garden and then I'm going to uh, do just a basic watering on the left side which wasn't, uh, hadn't formally kicked into flower and then I'll use the other half in the next couple days in order to uh, supplement the, uh, the flowering process uh, when it kicks over. Okay, and we're moving on. So I'm just going to turn on the knob and we'll get started watering. So as I said before, I've got these nifty shutoff valves here that I use to uh, separate the two sides. So um, being that this one hasn't quite kicked into flower yet, I'm going to, or I've shut it off, and I'm going to water half of the reservoir tank on the other side, which as you can see is watering. And I'll just let that deplete to the 50% mark and then I'll turn it off. And then uh, in the next couple days when uh, we'll start to see these hot flowers coming out. So I don't know if you can see that there. But we've got some nodes coming out there. So flowers will be coming out of these shoots here. But they haven't quite come out yet. So I'll probably uh, finish off the reservoir in one or two days. Okay, and then of course I've got these small ones here and I keep pruning them so they don't look t uh, terrific right now, but they're nice and bushy and so they're building up a nice root mass. And I might swap those out next year, but uh, as you can see, just cut these ones short. So we're just building roots. And of course the pepper plant that we've got going. Okay, I'll come back in one month and it should be time to harvest, uh, or at least it should be pretty close to harvesting. So we'll come back in one month and I'll uh, show you guys another update of my hop garden. Thanks for watching, everyone.